Hey everybody, Pastor Matthew here, Zion Lutheran Church, for a new video series here on uh, Faith in Five. Deepening faith, five minutes at a time. I'm here with my daughter Skye uh, today. Uh, we're actually doing this for uh, Take Your Child to Work Day. Um, but these new videos, they're going to be coming out. Um, there's, they're not going to be published on a regular basis. Um, you might just never know when one is going to come up, but we're going to be uh, really tackling some topics that, uh, that I'll even ask you to contribute to. Uh, today, uh, we're going to be doing a brief conversation about prayer and some of the questions uh, that we might have uh, come up uh, when we're thinking about prayer. And so the first question that we're going to talk about is different prayers that we know. Um, Sky, what kind of prayers do you know of uh, um, that you've heard of before? Probably the mo the one that I know the most is our dinner prayer. Our dinner prayer. Okay, yeah, we do say we, when we gather at the table for dinner, we usually have a prayer that we say uh, every time. Do you mm -hmm. know it? Mm -hmm. Can you say it? Mm -hmm. Dear Lord, we offer thee our thanks and prayer for food and home and all thy loving care. Amen. Very good. Yeah, that's exactly the prayer that we use. I grew up with dinner prayers too. Um, God is great. God is good. Um, there was another one that I that I knew that I liked. Yeah, sometimes um, kids <clears throat> have singing prayers. Singing prayers, yes. Um, if you ever went to a, a church camp um, or a part of youth group, you might have had some prayers where you sang... Uh, I don't know if you recall that the Johnny Appleseed prayer uh, is a very popular one uh, in our house. Uh, the Superman prayer uh, or the Coca-Cola prayer. Uh, those are just a few of the few of the ones that I know. Um, do we know any other prayers? Um, the Lord's Prayer. The Lord's Prayer, yeah. That's a very good example. It of, comes uh, in many different versions. It does, they do have very many different versions, but you know where it comes from, right? Mm -hmm. Where? Um, the Bible? Yeah, it does come from the Bible. Yeah, Matthew chapter 6 uh, is where we get the Lord's Prayer. Um, so moving on, let's think of another question. Um, when do we pray? We already talked about dinner time, right? Are there any other times that uh, that we should uh, pray? Usually it, <clears throat> when we're together and eating food. Okay, yeah, if you're eating food, we why, why are we praying when we when we eat food? What are we... Um, to bless the food. To bless the food. Yeah, we're also giving God thanks for the food. Mm -hmm. uh, yep, mm -hmm. very good. What are, what are some other times that we pray? Mm. We pray or reasons and, that we pray. Uh, um, we pray for forgiveness. Forgiveness, yeah, we ask God for forgiveness. Very good. We talked about being thankful. Mm -hmm. uh, yep, we want to do that. Um, what others do you know? Mm. We pray when we're happy. Sometimes. When something's going good. Sometimes. Yep. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yep. Uh, the Bible tells us, uh, there's a verse in the Bible, 1 Thessalonians 5.17. It says, pray without ceasing. Do you think we could pray all the time without stopping? No. No, probably not. Yeah, it seems like quite a lot. Um, and so probably what that means is we just, we pray every chance we get the opportunity, right? Hmm. Yeah, definitely. Um, what do we do when we pray? Um, like, how do we look when uh, we pray? Um, like I've seen Pete, when, when we pray at our house in our dinner prayer, mm -hmm. We, like, it was normally this, mm -hmm. then it changed to this, because that's what I did. Okay. But now I normally do this. Do that. Okay, so we fold our hands. Mm hmm Okay, what else, what else might we do when we pray? Um, when I was in my elementary school in Michigan, we, he would, uh, in, like, some Bible school. Mm-hmm. Like, they would tell us to bow our heads and close our eyes. Bow our heads and close our eyes, yeah. And so we might do that just to kind of block out everything else that's going on around us so that we can help focus our attention on God. Yeah, that's a good way of doing it. Um, what's uh, What are some things that we do? We, we do this at church sometimes. Um, or at least we, we think we do it. Yeah, we do it every time at church. Uh, that's different from what we might do at home when we pray. Wait. Hold on, can you repeat that? When we're at church. 
There's something oh. that we tend to do at church that we usually don't do when we're at home. We kneel. We kneel. That's right. Some people can kneel. Because they have kneelers in. We right. don't have any kneelers on our table. No, we don't have them here on our table. But we could kneel on the ground. But kneeling is a, is a very uh, good way to pray, too. It just kind of, kneeling is a way of uh, making kind of our, our center of gravity kind of vulnerable. Because if you're kneeling, uh, you could just be pushed over by somebody. And so kneeling kind of reminds us that we are, um, we're submitting to God in our prayer. And so we're calling out to him to, to help us. Very good. Uh, what kinds of things do we say when we pray? Um... Like, do we need to use big, long words all the time? No. No? I mean, is that a bad thing, if we have big, long words? No. No, it's not a bad thing, no. But we don't have to use them. Yeah. Um, I don't know. What, kind of, what kinds of things uh, can we say? Well, about, oh, like what we were just talking about, like about the big, big long words, a mm-hmm. prayer cut, and be as simple or as fancy as you really want it to be. That's true. Yeah, it can. I mean, we start out, we think of it as a conversation between us and God. Mm-hmm. Um, we're either coming to him uh, giving thanks for something usually or asking him for something. And usually that, that's reminding us that God is bigger than we are. Uh, God is the one who provides for us, and God is the one that uh, that helps us through those times when we need him the most. Um, sometimes we don't even know what to say. I mean, there are some very difficult times in life where we just don't know what to say. Um, and there's a verse in, um, I think it's in Romans, uh, where, uh, where Paul says, The Spirit intercedes for us with sighs too deep for words. And sometimes when we don't know what to pray, we just, we just call out to God and say what we can, and, and the Spirit tells God the rest. So, What about everybody else that's watching this video? Um, what do you think about these questions? How would you answer them? Uh, what kind of prayers do you know? Uh, what kind of prayers have been helpful for you, uh, especially during this pandemic, but just overall? What, what, uh, what prayers do you pray on a regular basis? Do you pray on a regular basis? Um, and what are some ways that... Uh, Maybe some of your thoughts and comments on this could help uh, other people who are watching this video too. So uh, this is our first uh, Faith in Five uh, video on the topic of prayer. Um, again, you'll never know when one of these just might pop up. You never know what topic it might be, but if you have any ideas or suggestions uh, for something that we can talk about uh, in, a, in a short five or so minute We'd video. We'd be happy to talk about it. Yes, we would. And it may not always be Sky sitting next to me. I may pull in some special guests, other special guests as well, or it may be just me. And you never know where I'll be. Like Pippi? No, not our cat. Aww. Very good. So anyway, as you go about your day, may the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord's face shine on you and be gracious to you. May the Lord look upon you with favor and give you peace in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Have a great day, everybody. God's peace to you.